This video is all about how to fix VRAM limits and boost your FPS by removing hidden GPU memory caps. Before applying these tweaks, my games had random stutters and unstable performance, but after doing them, everything ran smoother with higher and more consistent FPS. These methods work on any PC or GPU, so make sure to watch till the end, and if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. It really supports the channel. So guys, in this first step, we're going to apply a really important Windows registry tweak that helps remove hidden GPU memory caps and fix RAM limits for smoother performance. Open your Windows search bar, type registry editor, and open it. Once it's open, copy the exact registry path from the description and paste it into the address bar so you can quickly navigate to the correct GPU memory key. Now here we'll be creating or modifying a few DWO, RD32 bit values that directly affect your graphics card's performance. The first one is TDAR delay, and you'll set its value to 10. This basically increases the timeout delay, giving your GPU more time to respond before Windows assumes it has crashed and resets the driver. It helps prevent those random GPU resets or black screens during heavy gaming or rendering sessions. The next one is HWS mode, and you'll set it to 2. This enables hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, which offloads some scheduling tasks from your CPU to the GPU. If your drivers and hardware support it, this can make your system feel smoother, reduce input lag, and even improve frame pacing. Then create or modify disable preemption and set its value to 1. This stops Windows from constantly interrupting GPU tasks, which reduces stutter and keeps RAM usage more consistent instead of wasting it on unnecessary context switching. If you ever want to revert these changes, you can just delete these entries or set their values back to zero. Once everything is done, restart your PC so Windows can rebuild the GPU scheduling layer with your new settings. After the reboot, you should notice much more stable RAM usage, smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and even a nice FPS boost especially if your GPU was previously being limited by hidden VRAM caps. All right, guys, in the next step, we're going to disable Windows hidden VRAM compression layer. While this feature can be helpful for high-end GPUs on mid-range or older graphics cards, it often does more harm than good. To turn this off, open your Windows search bar and type PowerShell and run it as admin. Once it's open, run the command I've provided in the description. This command specifically disables the forced RAM compression layer in Windows. By doing this, you'll often notice a reduction in micro stutters and those tiny frame hitches that happen when games or 3D applications are constantly streaming textures. It can also lead to smoother frame pacing and slightly faster loading when switching between detailed environments or large maps. If you ever want to revert this tweak, just run the restore command I've also included in the description. Once that's done, restart your PC to apply the changes. After rebooting, your GPU will now run without the extra compression overhead allowing for direct memory access and much smoother real-time performance overall. Now guys, it's time to fine-tune how your NVIDIA driver handles memory and performance. These adjustments help balance power behavior and VRAM management, so your GPU stays stable and consistent, even under heavy or fluctuating loads. First, Download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector from my official Discord server. The link is in the description. Once it's downloaded, open it and make sure the profile at the top is set to global. From here, we'll apply a few key settings to unlock smoother and more consistent performance. 
Search for frame rate limiter and set it to off. This lets your game or any external FPS tool control the frame rate more efficiently. Next, find low latency mode and set it to ultra. This reduces input lag and keeps your render queue as short as possible for a more responsive experience. Then look for power management mode and set it to prefer maximum performance. This stops your GPU from downclocking during gameplay or rendering. After that, search for shader cache and turn it on. This helps store pre-compiled shaders, which speeds up loading times and reduces stutters in most games. Now find texture filtering quality and set it to high performance. It slightly reduces visual overhead, but greatly improves stability and smoothness. Finally, search for CUDA Force P2 state and keep it off. This prevents VRAM throttling on certain GPUs, allowing them to maintain full speed under load. Once you've applied all these settings, click Apply Changes and you're done. These tweaks make your GPU handle VRAM and power usage far more efficiently, helping you get smoother gameplay, fewer drops, and an overall boost in consistency. All right, guys, if you're facing lag or high ping while gaming, then Gear Up Booster is the ultimate solution. Here's how it works. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys, let's optimize your paging file settings, which can really help reduce lag and RAM stutters. It works as an extension of your physical RAM and helps Windows manage memory more efficiently during gaming or multitasking. To do this easily, open your Windows search bar and type View Advanced System Settings. Then select it. In the window that opens, go to the Advanced tab and under the Performance section, click on Settings. Now a new window will open, go to the Advanced tab again and under Virtual Memory, click on Change. Here, first uncheck the box that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. After that, select your C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. Choose custom size, and now, we'll manually set the initial and maximum size in megabytes. To find the right values, it's simple. Check how much RAM you have. For example, if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, multiply that by 1,024 to get 8,192, which will be your initial size. Then double that number to get your maximum size which in this case would be 16,384. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, it'll be 16,384 for the initial size and 32,768 for the maximum size. Basically, the initial size equals your total RAM in megabytes and the maximum size should be twice that amount. Once you've entered your values, click Set, then OK, and restart your PC to apply the changes. After restarting, you should notice smoother performance, fewer lag spikes, 
and more consistent frame pacing, especially during heavy gameplay. That's it for today guys, apply these tweaks and enjoy smoother, faster gameplay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if this helped you out.